13th ever at the Asia Cup, but they participated in, in five of the six previous editions. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out right here, right now. Let's get it on. Malaysia Macau. Qualifying draw D for the men. That's how you started off the right way. You fit the B-man down low. Hand up, throws the shot off. Right, we got a member of the all-hair team. <laughs> well, you got two candidates in this game. One on each side. Who do you prefer? Xian Fu Ui. Uh, rocket number 33 for Malaysia. And then uh, Chang Wei Sang going for back-to-back -back buckets. And then Hu and Ho. Number two, Steph Curley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you're on fire. You said you're rusty. It's just like, it's been a few months. Just like riding a bike, man. <laughs> oh, man. JJ, get out the way, way. Quick step to the left, in for the score as Malaysia pulls within one. Again, qualifying draw D action for the fellas. Fake handoff. Oh, nice defense there. Yeah. Winner joins the main draw pool D with New Zealand and Cutter. Big bucket. Nice, nice two knockdown from Ka Tong Lai. Macau in the building. Lee Macau. Yeah, they're making their uh, their Asia Cup debut. They're one of the new entries to uh, to this competition. <laughs> nice so look. See what kind of first impression they make. So far, so good. They lead it by three. The foul is given up. So also in this group, we'll see India and Maldives competing. And they got Qatar and the Tall Blacks waiting the main draw, whoever emerges. Jump home. Defensively, Chang Wen Sang needs to be way more focused. He's dropping too low, and uh, he's giving an opportunity for an open look. I understand you're tall, but you still gotta be active. Got shot on, and it's a tie game. He's activated, that's safe to say. That knockdown from Ching Ting Chun Hong. Oh, balance still gained his composure enough to make the layup. So Macau keeping Malaysia at bay as we uh, approach the eight-minute mark. Just, just getting comfortable in this one. And this early goings. I think this one's gonna have the makings of a good game here, Angelo. I believe you're right, Kyle. And uh, it's two different styles. You got the length and strength of Macau. And then you got the aggressiveness yeah. and speed of uh, Malaysia. And Malaysia, true facts. Here we go. Chung Hong. He misfires that time. Oh, oh, using the glass once again. The ring, the ring. The off call the, got answered. Off the window. I don't know if I like the, the shot or his hair better. But that was a nice make. You There's a tough to competition between the two, I, I would agree. Yeah. But I'm a shooter, so I go with the shooter. And there we go from dreads to curls. <laughs> the all hair team. Steph Curley with the two. <laughs> Going at it, 8-1. I tell you what, though, that, that might stick with him, just so you know. It's, it's probably going to stick with him. Steph Curley. Yeah, that's that's not a bad one. It's a good, but, but, it's but, a good nickname because that means you're it. a shooter. He can't have it unless he shows me he's a shooter. Well, he just made one, so he needs how many for uh, you to validate well, it? He's got to be a stone-cold shooter. That's the layup. That what if he's count. a scorer? Okay, that could work. That okay. could work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He just got dropped off. You talked about a good game. How on point were you, sir? 10-9. <laughs> who hit that? Who just hit that two? Was that? Uh, it was. Um, that was uh, uh, Ting Chung Hong. Yep. All right. He's in his bag right now. 
Going from back to back. Oh. No. Nope. Don't miss it there. JJ. Four. Score. The shortest player Sticking on the court right now. Yeah, Jian Jun. Fed inside. Is that a hook shot or a, or a pass attempt? He was trying to pass it inside, okay. but he should have shot it because either way it was going to be a three-second call. Had his teammate called the ball, so. It should be time for a TV timeout now. It Got is. a dead ball situation, 11-9. With 6.48 to go. We know our officials are all over it, so right on point, right on cue. It is time for that quick break into action. And these are important, too. So each team with a timeout, which you got to be smart in the way that you utilize. Agreed. Uh, but also these TV timeouts, giving you a, a chance to kind of reset, catch your breath. It ain't long. I just heard the horn, so here they go right back to nah, it. Nah, it, it, it certainly ain't long, but you get two of them. So that's definitely helpful, I'll tell you that. At critical points in the, in the game, too, so. The continuity. Acting on Fu. You know what Fu means in French? No. Crazy. Oh, for real? Yes, sir. He got crazy game so far. And crazy hair. That's a fact, too. <laughs> he's good at the line. And he's giving a four-point lead. 13-9. Malaysia. And hips don't lie for K Tong right now. I hope you like what I just did. The hips don't lie for K Tong. K Tong lie. I oh, see that. I see it. Oh, I was trying I'm to think of the, you, man. The, the song. There's a song titled The Hips Don't Lie. Yeah, from oh, Shakira. Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't worry, that. I'm not going to do too many of those, but <laughs> I got some in the bag sometimes. <laughs> oh. That was missed. Oh, Almost twice. Cleaned. Oh, take that mess somewhere else. And I agree. Jian Jun with all the fakes. But no makes. I agree. Kayton Lai was telling the referee three seconds. And he wasn't lying either there. Low from deep. It's a no. That's out of bounds. And that is going to be white ball. 6.04 to go. In a three-point contest, Malaysia is only slightly in front. The intensity has returned. Here in this qualifying draw, D game one. Oh, a vicious block. No but you, foul call there, right? No, no, no foul call, all ball. But the, and I think we'll see on the replay, I think it was clean. Oh, yep. yeah, great time. It was clean. So you and your dreads get up out of here. That one missed. Steph Curley with the rock. Great fake. You got to pass it out. Oh, nice fake. The wrong choice. Nice fake, but wrong choice. Russell Westbrook on the side of the glass. Oh, a couple of just point blank chances. And a foul on the interior. If not a foul, then three seconds was very likely going to be the next whistle. But Katong Lai, it's, it's an unfortunate choice that he made. He had a wide open look on the right hand side that would have set us up, set them up for an offensive board in here. Like how alone can you be for a layup, Kyle? John June hit the nitrous. That quickness has been disrupted. And a big reason that Malaysia has been able to manage a four point advantage, that penetration, constantly putting pressure on the defense, getting to the rim. This is what a good point guard would do for your team. You know what they say, speed kills. Facts. And speed kills once again as it sets up Malaysia for the offensive board. Took a while, but they got it done. Yep. Zen Kang Leon keeping the four point lead. Good Clean hands. Defense. Clean defense there. Past the midway point here. Not quite crunch time yet. But Malaysia pulling uh, 
within six points of that 21 point mark. And both teams in a high scoring game. Desperation heave there, late the shot clock. That had to be done. And that one poked away. No, actually, he mishandled it completely. Oh, it was? Okay. Yeah, he forgot his luggage on that trip. <laughs> Sarge back in his bag. <laughs> <laughs> Come the guys in green. Quick trigger on that miss from long range. Jai Jung, he wants it back. He's operating. Oh. oh behind the back, wait a minute. Foul call. Well, either way, I thought that ball was going to be a turnover as the, the pass was too high. It was, would have been really, really hard to catch, but. Super risky uh, so, yeah, pass there. For sure. And you know, I love highlights as much as anybody. And that's a nice one for you. And he, Putting together a nice game. Shion. Good hands. Shion. Gotta clear the zone. There you go. Oh, low. It's a no. Yeah. 16 11. Shion Fu wants the Wilson. Shion Fu jab deep in. No. That one missed badly out of bounds. Yeah. I, I like the experience from Kai Tong, uh, Kai Tong Lea. He, he was about to call for the timeout, looked at the clock, saw that it was four minutes and five seconds in the game clock. So he knows whatever dead ball happens in the next seconds is going to be a TV timeout. That's important to understand, guys. Yep. Manage your timeouts the right way. Properly. Yep. Find a way to survive for another 20 seconds. The next dead ball, you get a breather. Oh, nice up fake. Oh, clean, clean fake, clear lane. Macau in trouble, Kyle. Macau in trouble. 17 12, 335. I, I can't disagree with you. Oh, high elevation. And the bucket there. 326 now. And Chia Jun, another risky pass, but it finds his target. They couldn't deliver. That's a fatigue foul right there. They Sometimes that uh, TV timeout doesn't come as quick as you want <laughs> with that continuous play. For sure. He said, forget it, I'll take a foul. We need, to, we need a breather. <laughs> Malaysia in good position, though. Impressive game. I, I tell you what, my analysis is that Macau is not utilizing the size advantage enough. They are too long to make decisions. They are too long to set up. And they are pretty much undergoing the intensity and the, and the speed. They're playing at, on Malaysia's pace. That doesn't suit them. They're playing, yeah. They need to, they need to re set up their own pace and make Malaysia slow down. There you go. That, that, who's going to impose their style of play? So far, it's been Malaysia. Continue to move, penetrate, nice ball movement, leads to a good look top of the key. Big rebound. The cow's got to get to work here. See, if you got Kai Tong Lai. That's the fifth on Malaysia. Both teams even in the foul category with 251 to play. If you got Kai Tong Lai and uh, Chan Wei Sang playing only on the perimeter, then that plays right in the hand of Malaysia. Well, I think you see more of that perimeter play when teams get fatigued. It's easier to settle for just chunking a bunch of twos up. Oh, there that, you go. That one, that one works. There's the advantage. But Can they capitalize on it in the next two minutes? Shen Fu with the miss. Lai. I don't like that at all, Kyle. I'm not going to lie to you. That's your big out there shooting that two. But even then, even then, because I'll tell you one thing, that's a great kick out pass. Ooh. You got to make those count. And they're not with the offensive board, no oh. foul call. He's going with the Singapore sling down there. I'll tell you what, Kyle, my center in Greece has a great shooting touch. So I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to prevent him from shooting. I allow him, I want him to take shots, but. That's just like, you have a wide open lane for the drive. He's the worst shooter of your squad so far. Yes. So everybody has to accept their role and where the money is. This you got to identify it. And here, that's not the money shot for Macau yep. at this point of the game. Yep, yep. 
I, I, can't, I can't argue with you there, but it also reiterates the point of how important it is to have the versatility. Right. One through four, you, everybody's got to be able to do everything to be effective. You need your bigs to be able to knock down open looks from two range in a, in a, in a game that's still very close, 18 to 14. Great execution. They're running that pattern play that Japan is very familiar with as well. They're, they're starting up with two people on the, on the free throw line, and whoever uh, gets fed the ball, there's going to be then a back pick action and a lot of fake screens slipping happening. And Malaysia has created great opportunities for themselves with that. That's another quick move from JJ. And that's going to be a turnover. They could finish it with a dagger right now. Are they going to go for... I think for the game winner. For, I think well, I thought they were going for one. Again, because points are at a premium. If you got a chance to score 22, you want to get them. So we'll see how Malaysia choose to approach this. The game's not in the bag yet, especially with a bucket there that makes it now a two-possession game. They let that one go out of bounds. That's smart. Any any extra second or millisecond you can get. Uh, to catch your breath, you take it in 3x3. And they do that as we get back to it, minute 19. Xia Zhan. Oh, costly turnover. Yeah, wasted that possession and didn't even use it. Didn't even use most of the uh, shot clock, about half of it. Well, good idea, poor execution. Yeah, got to put that pass on the money. Oh, spoiling dessert once again. The move was good. Million dollar move, five dollar shot. Xian Fu. You're a bit generous, folks. So I would have said it's five cents. It's true. That shot wasn't worth nothing. For the Point. game, for the game, for the game. That'll do it. This one is over and done with. Malaysia over Macau. 21-15 to open things up in qualifying draw D. One more game uh, remaining here on the early portion of the schedule before we take a, I guess, a brief break. We've got India and Maldives on deck, but Malaysia, as you heard uh, Angelo say earlier,